In today's video we are going to discuss about glycine. Glycine was discovered in 1820 by French chemist Henri Braconnot. Glycine is a simplest amino acid. It is a non-essential amino acid. Glycine is one of the proteinogenic amino acids. Glycine is also a major inhibitory neurotransmitter in the adult vertebrate central nervous system. Formation of glycine. From serine. The enzyme serine hydroxymethyltransferase catalyses this transformation via the cofactor pyridoxal phosphate. From 3-anine. Three 3-anine three aldolase generates acetaldehyde and glycine. The dehydrogenase pathway degrades 3-anine in two steps to acetyl-CoA and glycine. By glycine synthase. In the liver of vertebrates, glycine synthesis is catalyzed by glycine synthase, also called glycine cleavage enzyme. This conversion is readily reversible. Metabolic functions of glycine. Glycine is used for biosynthesis of heme, purine ring, glutathione, and creatine. Glycine also functions as a neurotransmitter, as a constituent of protein, and as a conjugating agent. Glycine as a neurotransmitter. Glycine accomplishes several functions as a transmitter in the central nervous system. As an inhibitory neurotransmitter, it participates in the processing of motor and sensory information that permits movement, vision, and audition. This action of glycine is mediated by the strychnine-sensitive glycine receptor, whose activation produces inhibitory postsynaptic potentials. Glycine transporters Glycine transporters are plasmolemal neurotransmitter transporters. They serve to terminate the signaling of glycine by mediating its reuptake from the synaptic cleft back into the presynaptic neurons. There are two glycine transporters, glycine transporter 1 and glycine transporter 2. Glycine transporters are members of the solute carrier family 6 of sodium and chloride-dependent neurotransmitter receptor transporters. Five variants of glycine transporter 1, 8, B, C, D, and E, and three variants of glycine transporter 2. A, B, and C have also been identified. Glycine transporter 1 is primarily located in astrocytes, which are non neuronal cells that support the function of neurons in the brain. This transporter is responsible for removing glycine from the synaptic cleft, which is the small gap between neurons where neurotransmitters are released and received. By removing glycine, glycine transporter 1 helps to terminate the synaptic signal and prevent excessive activation of glycine receptors. Glycine transporter 2, on the other hand, is found primarily in glycinergic neurons, which are neurons that use glycine as a neurotransmitter. This transporter is responsible for recycling glycine within these neurons, allowing for efficient reuse of the neurotransmitter. Glycine transporter 2 is also involved in regulating the release of glycine from these neurons. Glycine receptors the inhibitory glycine receptor is a member of the ligand-gated ion channel receptor superfamily. The glycine receptor comprises a pentameric complex that forms a chloride-selective transmembrane channel, which is predominantly expressed in the spinal cord and brainstem. Receptors are arranged as five subunits surrounding a central pore, with each subunit composed of four alpha-helical transmembrane segments and a single beta subunit. The adult form of the glycine receptor is the heteromeric alpha-1 beta receptor, which is believed to have three alpha-1 subunits and two beta subunits or four alpha-1 subunits and one beta subunit. The embryo form on the other hand is made up of five alpha-2 subunits. The mechanism In adults In mature adults, glycine is an inhibitory neurotransmitter found in the spinal cord and regions of the brain. As it binds to a glycine receptor, a conformational change is induced, and the channel created by the receptor opens. As the channel opens, chloride ions are able to flow into the cell which results in hyperpolarization. In addition to this hyperpolarization, which decreases the likelihood of action potential propagation, glycine is also responsible for decreasing the release of both inhibitory and excitatory neurotransmitters as it binds to its receptor. This is called the shunting effect. In embryos, 
In developing embryos, glycine has the opposite effect as it does in adults. This is due to the fact that chloride has a more positive equilibrium potential in early stages of life due to the high expression of NKCC1. This moves one sodium, one potassium and two chloride ions into the cell, resulting in a higher intracellular chloride concentration. When glycine binds to its receptor, the result is an efflux of chloride, instead of an influx as it happens in mature adults. The efflux of chloride causes the membrane potential to become more positive or depolarized. As the cells mature, the potassium chloride cotransporter II is expressed, which moves potassium and chloride out of the cell, decreasing the intracellular chloride concentration. This allows the receptor to switch to an inhibitory mechanism as described above for adults. Glycine Receptors in Diseases Disruption of glycine receptor surface expression or reduced ability of expressed glycine receptor to conduct chloride ions results in the rare neurological disorder, hyperreplexia. The disorder is characterized by an exaggerated response to unexpected stimuli which is followed by a temporary but complete muscular rigidity often resulting in an unprotected fall. Chronic injuries as a result of the falls are symptomatic of the disorder. A mutation in glycine receptor alpha-1 is responsible for some cases of stiff person syndrome. Glycinuria Glycinuria is also an autosomal disorder resulting from the impaired renal tubular reabsorption of glycine. This will lead to increased excretion of glycine but serum glycine level is normal leading to the increased risk of oxalate stones. Glycine agonists and antagonists Agonist is a substance that fully activates the receptor that it binds to. Whereas, antagonist is a substance that binds to a receptor but does not activate and can block the activity of other agonists. Receptor selective agonists are glycine, betaalanine, and taurine. Receptor selective antagonists are strychnine, PMBA, and cyanotriphenylborate. Glycine as a coagonist. Glycine is a required coagonist along with glutamate for NMDA receptors. In contrast to the inhibitory role of glycine in the spinal cord, this behavior is facilitated at the NMDA glutamatergic receptors which are excitatory. Glycine binding enhances the activity of the NMDA receptor by increasing the opening of the receptor's ion channel in response to glutamate binding. This allows more calcium ions to enter the neuron, leading to increased neuronal activation and synaptic plasticity. Glycine Association with GABA Glycine can enhance the inhibitory actions of GABA by acting on GABA receptors. Glycine can bind to a specific site on GABA receptors, known as the strychnine-insensitive glycine site, which is distinct from the GABA binding site. When glycine binds to this site, it enhances the inhibitory actions of GABA, resulting in increased chloride ion influx and hyperpolarization of the neuron, making it less likely to generate an action potential. Glycine as a potential therapeutic agent Glycine has been investigated as a potential therapeutic agent for various conditions due to its diverse physiological roles and effects on the nervous system. Sleep and Sleep Disorders Glycine's ability to enhance inhibitory neurotransmission and modulate NMDA receptors may contribute to its sleep-promoting effects. Neurological Disorders Glycine has been investigated as a potential treatment for schizophrenia, as it has been suggested that dysfunction of the glycine system may contribute to the pathophysiology of schizophrenia. Muscle Relaxation and Spasticity Glycine has been studied for its potential muscle relaxant effects. It has been shown to have inhibitory effects on motor neurons in the spinal cord, contributing to muscle relaxation. To sum up, glycine is an important neurotransmitter in the central nervous system that has inhibitory effects on neuronal activity. Glycine receptors are widely distributed in the CNS and play important roles in various physiological processes, including motor control, sensory processing, and modulation of neuronal excitability. Glycine also acts as a coagonist with glutamate at the NMDA receptors, modulating the excitatory actions of glutamate. Glycine has been shown to interact with other neurotransmitters such as GABA, enhancing the inhibitory actions of GABA by binding to specific sites on GABA receptors.
Glycin has also been studied as a potential therapeutic agent for various conditions, including sleep disorders, neurological disorders, muscle relaxation, metabolic health, and others.